What up, though, everybody? I'm Mac Mouth, and I'm here to tell you about my new channel and the comic book I'm creating from the ground up. First, a little about me I'm 28, I'm married, and I got five kids, and I live in frosty ass Michigan. It's snowing outside right now, so it's frosty. Anyway, about my channel, it's, it's all about, not mostly, all about uh, my art and my growth and the journey on creating a comic book. Any and everything that I go through, I will be telling you. So, you know, if you want to make a comic, you can see one of the paths that someone has took. It. The reason I made it is because I never seen anyone document their journey on creating a comic. So, I wanted to be, I guess, the first one. Uh, I've seen a lot of people who have done or are in the middle of a continuation of making commas, commas, comics or mangas. And, um,. You know, it's good to have people who's already there and made it, but I think we should also have people showing the way too. And not saying that I know the way, because I'm self-taught, you know. And I just want to, to you know, leave a little mark so everybody can see, you know, one of the paths that, or one of the things that might occur on your own journey to create a comic. And as for my comic, uh, my comic is called Gone. Uh, I chose the, the title because every major person, really anybody who is somebody in my story, will feel the same loss across the board. Like, it affects everyone. And they're all traumatized. And they're all fucked up. They all got to deal with it and try to make it out of the situation that, that'll never be the same as before, you know? So and every person, is, and when it comes down to it, You'll, to, you'll truly understand when when the loss is felt, when everything is gone, you know? They'll all feel it at the exact same moment, and there's nothing you can do about it. So, I really wanted to uh, make a story that was, you know, drama-filled. Not just action-filled, where you're always, like, waiting for the action, but, like, in the meantime, real drama. You know, real characters that you see you know, really going through some real shit. I really wanted to have it drama feel. So not only will shit hit the fan, you know, physically, but emotionally, mentally. I wanted to be all over the place. So I have really had to buckle down and get into my characters to do, to do so. And a lot of world building. Really, I mean, the world based in you know, today's world. So I'll even have current events pop up inside the story you know so yeah, you'll understand like these are characters that we just, now when I say I want to create characters who like when I say drama field I like the whole superhero aspect of storytelling you know where it's like like okay as for Batman his drama comes from being bad baby right but what about his day to day life like that kind of drama how do you manage a relationship with somebody? You know, you saving the world, but you cheating on her too. Like that's your girl, but you cheating on her, and she found out you cheating on her, but you saving the world, and then you find out why you saving the world that she just found out that you cheated on. Her. Regardless if you saving the world or not, she gonna be mad. How you go home and handle that? You know, and it's it's that's just like a small example, like of something that could happen in the story. But I'm just saying. You never see that ever in a story. And I'm not saying, personally, I haven't read every story. So it might be out there. I don't know. Maybe somebody need to put me up on game. But I'm just saying, as far as mainstream superheroes go, or in any manga that's mainstream, you never see anything like that. So I want to kind of bring that to this world. If I had to say who my comic was for, it would be for a mature adult. You know, I'm not really gonna have any nudity or anything, but it will get messy. It will get bloody. It will be sexual slurs and real life conversations going on. So I wouldn't let my kids read it, but I wanted to make it real life. I didn't want to sugarcoat and water down something, you know, because I just feel like you don't 
get that too much. And as far as, I mean, lately I've been reading more uh, American comics and superheroes, and they have gotten better with, you know, making them more personal and, you know, making them feel more real. So, but overall, you just never really see that stuff. Now, at the same time, for my characters, I really had to buckle down because I really wanted to make real life people that you never get to see on TV. And when you do see them, they're always viewed in an opposite way. So I had to really make my cast diverse. I really had to make my cast mean something because every character you see means something to a certain group of people. Everyone should be a chance to be a hero in my eyes, you know? And if you only have one outlook, if you only get one uh, source for your news and stuff like that, then you only see one thing, really. You only you only know what you're told, what you learn. If you're only learning from one source, then that's your, that's your point of view. And I have to I want to help change that because that's not fair to everyone. So, uh, I guess I can tell you about one of my main characters. The story in the beginning follows this guy named uh, Jay, short for Jeremiah. He's also a character I'm drawing in the speed game. and he's a uh, 16 turning 17 uh, soon and uh, the first chapter is really about him I don't want to get too deep because the first chapter pretty much tells his backstory and but he's pretty much a typical street man. like just he does typical street shit he's in the hoods he's smoking weed he's selling weed he's doing shit that he shouldn't be doing as a kid but at the same time he really is influenced because his dad is part of a mob and they they some real gangsters you know and they do real shit the problem is his dad doesn't view life like a street nigga he views it like there's more out in the world and he's trapped in a position that he's in because he's part of the mob he's always trying to tell Jay that there's another way there's there, you don't have to be this way there are brighter things in the world than the streets and you know Jay being a kid being a teenager he's not listening He's trying to figure out why his dad wants him to be so different when he just wants to be like him. So, but later, there's a change in the story and Jay's really affected by it. And, um, you know, it changes his outlook on life. And he kind of gets confused about what he should do with himself. Where, where did he go? You know, what does he do? Like, how, how does he live? now like how does he move on so he just you know and I had to put him in a situation where he had an opportunity to prove himself so quick shout out to the uh, to the producers who beats I borrowed uh, speaker bangers astronaut with the first beat you know slapping hope you enjoyed the vibe that I'm trying to provide here just want to give you guys a little piece of me uh, second beat cash money AP OG which Go check out him. Go check out Cash Money. And Bears Make Beats, Doses, Fire. But that's all I got for you guys today. So I just want to say thank you. Please like and subscribe. And come back next Tuesday so we can rock out. All right? This is Mac Mouse. I'm out.